I'm LaDonna Boyd, bringing you the curriculum lesson for the week of August 23rd, 2020. Our lesson is entitled, Bite Your Tongue, and it comes from the Master Teacher book from R.H. Boyd Publishing Corporation. Our scriptural reference is James chapter 3. Just as we should exercise our physical bodies, it is also important to exercise self-control with our temper and our words. Sometimes passion can be so strong that we may find it difficult to keep our words in check. The spoken word can be either an affirming or destructive force in the lives of vulnerable people. How can affirming words impact our human interactions? In this lesson from James, he informed believers that only through the discipline required in taming the tongue can the fruits of godly wisdom be made visible in our lives. Practicing controlling the tongue must be done in order to become a consistent source of healing for others and ourselves. We should always walk in love and pray for the right words to address situations. If you see that someone has fallen in their faith, treat them lovingly and use your words and actions to set the example of how we should manage ourselves as believers. The Bible says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and that verse comes from Matthew chapter 12, verse 34. People reveal who they are by their words and their actions, and careless use of words have a tendency to wound others. Our tongues are like double-edged swords, and they can be used for both good and evil. We always walk a fine line between deliverance and destruction. Consider our tongues to be like the rudder of a ship. Though the rudder is very small compared to the body of the ship, it sets the course for the journey. Our words can set our paths, and slight turns can help or hinder us along the way. Again, I'm LaDonna Boyd, and I hope that you've enjoyed this week's lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Also, check us out on our social media channels at rhboydco, as well as on our website at www.rhboyd.com.